Hi guys, I'm Will, and this is Will Stoy Clearance. Today, Pro Tip Series Franchise. So, when it comes to buying and selling collecting, the main thing is buy what you like, in my opinion. Can't go wrong then. But if you're looking for buying and selling, you've got to look at your franchises. Now, when picking a franchise to buy and sell, you know, be realistic. You're never going to find really obscure lines all the time for buying and selling. But when you do see them, it's worth picking them up. More, more obscure lines you're looking at. Um, lots of 60s and 70s sort of stuff, to be fair. Anything TV or movie related, it's worth looking at to buy and sell because they're quite rare nowadays most of it unless it's been reissued but you know they're a good seller the target market you're looking at are those with money to spend so they're people in their 40s people in their 30s I mean don't get me wrong there's 20s market for like turtles and biker mice from Mars and you know 90s and early 80s stuff late 80s stuff it's a solid market but for the for the big money you've got to be looking at uh, you know 70s and early 80s. For um, collecting, well, it's up to you really what sort of thing you're into, but um, I say I collect in Indiana Jones because, well, I like Indiana Jones, but it's also a solid investment. I mean, it's a franchise that isn't going to die quickly, even with the new film on the way. That's another good reason to buy franchises like that, because if there's a new film, you know, the value goes up in the old toys. And, collectibles in general because it's um you know people new people are being introduced to it and will want will want to buy stuff from that franchise so you know the he-man was a recent one which is why the prices skyrocketed because everybody thought the he-man film was coming out so everybody was buying he-man in for either to buy and sell on later on or just to collect for nostalgia obviously with the um money supermarket advert as well which is why um action man at the minute sort of uh, fluctuating in price so, you know, an action man is a very 60s, 70s thing. So it's not a bad buy, but it's buying it at the right price to either sit on it or to sell it on later on down the line. Depends what you pick it up for, in my opinion. If you've picked it up cheap now, action man, now's the time to sell it. But if you've picked it up expensive, well, not with not so much margin, it's probably best to wait until the peak. Finding the peak is very difficult, though. I mean, that's, that's good instinct, really, for finding... Uh, when's the best time to sell and the best place to sell. I mean eBay is brilliant because you get lots of people looking at the items but if you can find a solid local collector or a shop sometimes they'll pay more because they'll happily sit on it all they want it for themselves because most people who buy and sell do have their own collections so you know but your big franchises are obviously Star Wars um, Star Wars is a massive market either vintage, new 90s of weapons, cosplay, figures, vehicles, play sets, you know, advertising, tins, all different collectors for Star Wars, for all different bits of Star Wars, but you've got to pick it up at the right price, there's no point paying 10 quid for each individual vintage figure if it's got no weapons, because you're never going to make anything. Those are the sort of things you'd have to sit on for years to become rare, because the thing about vintage Star Wars is, I mean, it is quite rare, but there's a lot of it out there. I mean, it was brought in mass when it came out in 77, 82, you know, everybody brought Star Wars. So you might think it's rare, but not many are that rare, to be fair, unless they are complete and in mint condition, either on card or off card. But even, like, cards can sell well if you can pick them up cheap enough. So it's hard to know what to do, to be fair. But... I suppose what I'm trying to say is, when you're picking franchises to buy, you know, pick pick big and pick all-encompassing, so Star Wars, Lego's a good one, um, something that's going to continue like Indiana Jones, Pokemon's always going if you're a bit more anime, Turtles will always go because, you know, Turtles keep going on, Captain Scarlet always comes back, Jerry Anderson sort of stuff, Captain Scarlet, Thunderbirds, you know... It's common sense really, but you just sometimes forget about it. Buy what you like, 
buy what you think will do well and you, th you know it's popular. Buy best condition you can complete in box. This is tips for buying, selling and collecting to be fair. So buy right, not necessarily buy cheap, buy well, you know, don't pay too much but don't have, you know, spares and repairs figures knocking about for ages because they do sell but it's a long way down the line. You know, buy complete if you can, buy, buy boxed if possible. But stick to a budget, you know, don't go overboard. Research what you're going to pick up first, you know, just if you're going to pick up Star Wars in general, just go onto your eBay, type in Star Wars, go to completed listings and just flick through, learn various prices, learn what's going, what's not going. You know, it, there is no exact science to buying, selling and collecting, but it's knowledge, is power, as many wise men said. If you know what something's going to go for, you know approximately. You know what to buy it at. It's up to you what profit margin you make or how much you want to put into a collection. But, you know, research, buy well, pick a good franchise. Time to sell. It's a good feeling. As I say, if there's a new film coming out, a new series, if like something's been used in an advert or in a meme even, you know, the interest goes up and it's time to probably sell if you want to sell at that sort of price. You know, look at eBay, look at the trending market, see what the prices are going for and if they've gone up and it's a good profit and you want to sell it, sell it. If you think it's going to go up, keep it. It's a really hard thing to decide, which is why buying and selling is not that easy. Collecting, well, it's up to you, isn't it? You can collect Star Wars figures, you can collect Star Wars books, you can collect whatever you like. It's up to you. But again, you know, buy well, buy complete, because at the end of the day, if you have to turn around and you need the money, your collection will always be worth more than what you paid. And it'll sell well, because it's what collectors want, it'll be complete, and it'll be, you know, varied. And, well, that's probably the most advice I can give you without going into specific details on each franchise, but if you enjoyed that, hit the like, comment down below if you found this helpful, or if you want me to cover another thing, you know, I'll do various pro tips on a Thursday, but if you want me to particularly cover, I don't know, one line of toys or one era of toys, let me know and I'll, I'll do it, you know, I'm pretty easy on with these pro tip series, I want to help you guys, so just ask what you want to know, and I'll try my best, and, you know, keep checking out the page, until next time, sneet snad snee, later's.